All right, what's up guys? So in today's video, I've gone through my journal and I pulled up two screenshots of two trades which shows my entry triggers for my system perfectly. So I'm gonna give you guys my uh, strategies and my uh, the, the, the things I do to confirm the best entries for my best trades. <laughs> All right, so today's short educational video is sponsored by Send.com. They offer a comprehensive uh, suite of ba banking digital products. Like, you will, you, know, you will get a personal IBAN account, and you have a lot of unique features. Like, you can top up your fiat IBAN account with crypto, right? So you can actually deposit crypto into your fiat account, and the conversion happens automatically with very, very low fees. And on top of that, you'll get virtual and physical cards that you can use in your shopping, which will also have unique benefits like cashbacks and extended warranty warranty on uh, 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 electronics and stuff like that. So use the link in the description below and use the code in the description below to get 100 day free access. So definitely check that out. It's very, very useful for that crypto cashing out feature that you can use. All right, let's look at the the first example it's going to be uh well actually there's going to be two examples here for the forex market right and i'm quickly going to explain what i'm looking for to confirm an entry and it's basically it's based on four different principles right first we have the Fibonacci levels, right? We look at uh, mainly the 50% Fib and the 0 0.618. I'm going to see if I can zoom in here and make it a little bit cleaner. Yeah, like that. So mainly what we're looking at is, uh, like I said, the 50% uh, the Fib and the 618 could also see a dip into the reload zone right here. We then also have the stochastics RSI, right? We want the stochastics RSI to be confident with, you know, if, if going long, we want the stochastics RSI to be below 30. If going short, we want the stochastics RSI to be above 70. Third thing we look for, or what we add on the chart, is the 20 EMA and 4 hour, and the 50 EMA and 4 hour, as well as the 20 EMA and daily, and the 50 EMA on the daily we then also look at horizontal levels and if everything if everything like this aligns nicely we look at the candles and we want to see engulfing candles as you can see on this ncd chf long right here what happened was we had a pretty decent move right here and we broke market structure we had a bearish market structure right here we broke market structure by basically you know breaking above these highs and you know this kind of confirms it to me right We're breaking above the highs and then putting a swing point and then moving higher so that kind of confirms that we are now uh, in a upwards trending market right so what happens here is i add the fibs using that low to this high which brings in the 50% fib here and the 618 fib right here. So what we want to look for right now is a retrace somewhere down to either the 4 hour 50 EMA, which lines up nicely with the midpoint of the RLC, or bounce somewhere around the 4 hour 20 EMA or the 50% the fib, right? Now, what we do get is a hit of the uh, 618 with stochastics being below 30. So what we wait for right now is we wait for a 4 hour stochastics bull cross with bullish price action right so you have a four hour stochastics bull cross the stochastics are on the four hour is bottoming out and you have some very nice bullish price action here with hitting horizontal levels equal and confident with these highs right here and you start to see some bullish uh, price action this is where you want to enter on the reclaim of the four hour 20 EMA right here. You want to have your stops below the low of the, the bottom or the low of the bounce that you're buying. So basically the stops below the swing low. And I then take profit at the zero, the minus two, three, six, and perhaps even the minus six, one, eight. Right now, I've uh, from taking this screenshot, 
I've, um, you know, changed my take profit strategy a little bit. So I exit fully at the minus two, three, six without letting it run to the minus six, one, eight, because I've seen that it doesn't, it doesn't hit the, the last TP as often as I want. So I'm actually making more money by taking profits earlier. All right, so that's NCD CHF. Now let's look at another example to kind of see if we have any, if it looks similar, right? And it, it absolutely does right here. So here you have a Euro JPY, which is was in a quite nasty downtrend right here. You now have a, a break in market structure with the higher high here, breaking above these highs, and a higher low right here. So you have you know, now looks like an upwards trending market. Now, what you want to see is you want price to come down towards the, the real, either the real zone or the 50% fib. Or in this case right here, you have the daily 50, the daily 20, the four hour 50 and the four hour 20 EMA, very nicely in alignment with a horizontal level using these highs and these highs. And you can see that you have a horizontal level going something like this, right? And what happens on the test of the four hour 50. What, what you get is a four hour bullish engulfing right here. And when that four hour bullish engulfing happens at the same time as you have a stochastics RSI bull cross below 30 on the four hour, that is a very good entry confirmation. You wanna enter on the close of that four hour bullish engulfing, stops below the wicks of that bottom, and then again, TP1, TP2, TP3. If this trade would be taken today, I would exit fully here. But then again, it's a very, very profitable trade. All right. So to sum it up, you wait for price to retrace back down to a breakout level, which is usually previous resistance. It should be a nice uh, horizontal support and resistance area. That level should be confluent with either the, uh, the 618 FIB or the 50% FIB and either the a daily 20 and 50 EMA or the four hour 20 and or 50 EMA. And the important part is when price hits that level, you want to you want to see the stochastics RSI on the four hour or whatever time frame you're trading on. You want to see that being below 30 if going long or above 70 if going short. If you hit that level with the stochastics RSI giving you a bull cross if going long or a bear cross if going short with a bullish engulfing if going long or a bearish engulfing if going short, that is your entry trigger. So first, look for an area of interest by looking at the FIB level and the EMAs and horizontal levels. And when the price hits that area of interest, you wait for confirmation. And that confirmation is the stochastic star side giving you a bull cross or bear cross in the right area and a bearish or bullish engulfing, depending on if you want to short or if you want to go long. All right, guys, hopefully this video makes sense to you. This is the system i use on a daily basis it's actually the only system i use in the crypto and forex market hopefully you enjoy these types of short videos all right guys that's it take care and see you guys in the next one